Welcome to Drytech Australia. In this video, we will show you how to configure two Drytech routers for internet access over an ADSL line. The router used in this video are the Vigor 2860 and the Vigor 2925. The Vigor 2860 is a dual WAN router with a built-in ADSL modem. The ADSL line will be plugged directly in the VDSL ADSL port. The Vigor 2925 broadband router has two gigabit one interfaces. It will require an external ADSL model such as the Vigor 120. Then it will be connected to the router's gigabit internet one interface. We'll start with the Vigor 2860 router. The first step is to check the physical connections to the router. Ensure the power is connected. Plug in the ADC line to the router and also connect the LAN port on your PC. Check the LED status on the router's normal operation. The ACK LED light should flash every second and the DSL LED light should be solid once it has synchronized with the ADSL. Now, check your PC network connection. Once the PC is connected to the LAN port of the router, check that the computer has a valid IP address. To do this, on the PC, press both keys, Windows plus R, and type CMD to access the command prompt. Once in the command prompt, type ipconfig to view the IP address of the computer. You should see the IP address is 192.168.1.10 and that gateway is 192.168.1.1 which is also the IP address of the router. Once your PC is connected, log into the router. Open the browser, type on the URL the IP address of the router 192.168.1.1 Enter the default username, admin, and the password, admin. Then click the login button. Go to 1-1, Internet Access, Configuration Menu, click on the Details page for 1-1. On the Details page, tick the Enable. The modem settings value should be as follow. Multi PVC should be on channel 1, PVI value 8, PCI value 35, encapsulating type should be LLC snap and the protocol PPPOE. On the ISP access setup section, enter the username and password provided by your service provider. Then click OK to save the configuration. Then the router will now reboot. Once the router has rebooted, log into the router. Go to Online Status, Physical Connection. Check that the 1 1 letter is green. This means that the PPP authentication is successful and now the router has internet access. We will now look at how to configure the broadband router such as the Vigor 2925. For this configuration, we will assume that the external modem has configured in bridge mode. Log in to Vigor 2925 and go to 1 Internet Access. On the Internet Access page for 1 1, click the Access Mode and select PPPOE. On the far right, click Details page. Click the Enable on the PPPOE authentication and enter the service name if required and the username and password then click ok to save the configuration then the router will now reboot once the router has rebooted log into the router check the internet connection by going to online status then physical connection check that for one one letter are all colored green this means that the authentication is successful and the internet is connected Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit our website www.tritech.com.au 
or you can send an email to sales at drytech.com.au.